<laughs> Good morning, St. Pius. I'm Michael Morgan. I'm Marcus Merriman. And you're watching The X Factor. Today we're on a Wednesday block schedule. Today's saint of the day is Saint Conrad. Saint Conrad offers a different slant of holiness. Married, he and his wife opted to live separate lives. She is a poor Claire and he is a Franciscan hermit. All this after he set fire which was spread by wind and destroyed the nearby fields, forest, and the town. Uh, all right, all right. That's kind of yes. weird. Like extremely didn't, aware. Didn't really understand the story completely, but yeah, me neither. Schedule change: Monday, February twenty fourth will be a Monday, Tuesday, Friday schedule, and Tuesday, February twenty fifth will be Vincent Christus special late start schedule. Mr. Gardner will be sharing more details soon. Seniors, Unico scholarship applications are due by March 9th. Application is on the scholarship station section of Mr. Murphy's website. So if you want some free money, I guess go to the website, please. Angels Attic loves working with St. Pius on offering service hour opportunities for its students. Their goal is to provide a comprehensive volunteer experience that requires the students to show up as scheduled, work diligently, and serve joyfully. The best way to sign up to volunteer is to email JC at jcblinzer at gmail.com. The juniors and sophomores must park in the back parking lot, so don't park in the front, I guess. There's a family looking for a nanny over the summer for their two boys. They're looking for someone on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 8 to 5.30 p.m. with some Friday mornings. Ideally, the person will be a responsible driver. If you're interested, please see Mrs. Martin. Blue Tribe, if you're interested in a service opportunity with our Hillcrest Hope apartment, please see Miss Barda after school today or sign up oh, outside your door. Yeah. Attention all students. St. Pius will be building a float for the St. Patrick's Day Snake Parade on March 14th. If you are interested in constructing or participating in the parade, please come to an informational meeting during the second half of seminar on Thursday in Miss Barter's room. Even if you are unable to attend the parade, you are welcome to help with des designing the float. Cool. Sports for today, we have JV Boys and Girls Basketball at home versus Bishop LeBlanc at 5.30 and seven so come out and support lunch for today is taco salad today's story business club i'm emmy Chirpik and i'm grace brockman and we're bringing you today's story on the business, business club, club field trip. trip where did the business club go for the field trip we went to hy arena can you give us some of the background on that so my uh, dad works down there he's a uh, commissioner of the miaa it's a uh, division two conference he's a tenant at hy arena he's been been there for about two years now and he's enjoyed working down there. What was your favorite part of touring the Hy-Vee Arena? Um, seeing how they placed the beams on the bottom floor so to support the second floor and put a basketball court in the second floor. I like the track up there. It's one of the largest tracks in the United States. What was the most exciting part of the field trip? Well, we met with the owner of Hy-Vee Arena and he told us that he bought it from the city for a dollar and he invested $40 million into it. It's crazy to think that uh, only spending that much money and then you invest so much into it. I'm Grace Brockman. And I'm Mimi Chirpik. And this has been today's story on the Business Club Field Trip. Now back to you. That was a great story about Business Club. <laughs> Business. Mr. Parsons. The G. Okay, goodbye. Uh, happy birthday today to Sophie Johnson and Johnny Ringle. Happy birthday. Yeah. Well, sadly, that's all the announcements we have for today, but that's okay because we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Catch you on the flip side.